in this amazing and beautiful tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add X-Ray to Minecraft so you can play Minecraft with X-Ray as you can see around me. There's a lot of things I could see. I could see all the ores and everything. And not only that, everything is light up. Everything is bright because I'm going to teach you how to install X-Ray with the light so you can see everything. Okay, you could have like night vision down there. Let's get started. Step number one will be to click the first link in the description, which will bring you over here to our written tutorial on how to download the X-Ray pack. Anyways, the most important thing here is to click on the download X-Ray pack here button that is going to redirect you over here to the CurseForge website where we're going to download the ultimate edition of the x-ray pack and the most recent version as you can see if you scroll down you're gonna find 1.19 usually you don't even need to scroll down because the newest version will be up here but there's a chance that when you're watching this might be 1.19.1.2 point maybe 1.20 whatever version it is just find the one that we're looking for which is 1.19 in this case and click download file that is going to redirect you over here where in five seconds your download will start automatically let's just wait five seconds and that download is going to begin here in the bottom left as you can see we have a zip file here now we go click out on this website and we could close from the first one we're going to drop this file into the desktop but and drop the x-ray file into the desktop it should be a zip file if you don't have winrar don't worry you don't need to open this zip file for anything we just need to have it here now what we need to do is download optifine because optifine is requiring order for the night vision to work in the x-ray pack so how do you download and install optifine really simple click on that second link in the description which will bring you over here in here go ahead and click on the download optifine here again this is our written guy feel free to read through it anyways the most important thing is to click on this button which will bring you to the download website of Optifine in here is about the same process. We're going to look for the most recent version of Optifine or the matching version of Optifine, right? So we downloaded 1.19 X-Ray pack. So we're going to download Minecraft 1.19 Optifine in here. Click on preview versions and go ahead and download the most recent one. There's a chance when you come here, instead of having the preview version, you have something more like this where it says download. Go ahead and download that because that is the most recent version. Anyways, we're going to look for always the one that's on top. In this case, pre two, go ahead and click on download. That is going to redirect you over here where you're not going to click anything. You're going to wait five seconds as well and after five seconds a button label skip will appear here on the top right go ahead and click on the skip and that is going to bring you over here where we're finally able to download the newest version of optifine click download that is going to start the download here on the bottom left and that is a jar files ladies and gentlemen oh sorry i'm gonna minimize that i'm going to drop this jar file into the desktop as well you guys know i love dropping my files into the desktop if you don't drop your files into the desktop you can find them in your download folder anyways once you finish downloading go ahead and drop it now we have a jar file and a zip file we need to install this jar file we need to install optifine but in order to install Optifine, we need to make sure we have the newest version of Java in our computer. So how do you make sure you have the newest version of Java? Go ahead and maximize this, close out from the Optifine website and this ad website, and go ahead and click on that third link, which is our written guide on how to download and install Java, Java 18 precisely, because that is the one that we need for the newest version of Optifine to work properly. Go ahead and click on download Java here. That is going to bring you over here. You're going to scroll down a little bit. You're going to select Java 18, and then you're going to select Windows. That is going to give you these three options. And in here, you're going to select the X64 installer. Go ahead and click on the X64 for installer link right here that is going to start the download immediately here in the bottom left as we can see and again we're going to minimize that and we're going to drop that file into the desktop as soon as it finishes downloading let's wait for that to finish and there we go let's go ahead and drop that file into the desktop now we have two files two jar files one of them being java 18th and one of them being optifine now in order to install java 18th and make sure that it applies to all your files you need to run a jar fix i know this is a lot of downloading links but that is the way it is guys i'm sorry i don't make the rules i just teach you how to do the tutorial so go ahead and click on the fourth link to download the jar fix which is going to be the file that is going to allow us to run the java 18 with no problem go ahead and click on download here once you come to our website click on the bottom download here that is going to bring you over here and you're going to click on this blue line right here that says jarfix.exe go ahead and download that jar fix and that is going to give us a jarfix file that we're going to drop into the desktop now we have all the files that we need we could completely close out from the browsers do not close my video okay don't make that mistake now let's go ahead and start with the installation process make sure that you don't have java 18 already by coming here to type here to search click add or remove programs right type out of remove programs that is going to bring you over here and in here we're going to type java when we type java we're going to see what version of java we have as you can see i have java development kit 18th that means i have java 18th i'm pretty much set but many of you will have java 8 java 7 or java 17th you don't want to have any other version of java just java 18th so if you have any other version of java just click on it and then click on install if by any chance you have java 18th then you don't need to install java you could just start installing optifine but most of you will have to install java 18th let's go ahead and click on the jdk 18th window go ahead and click on this file right here when you click on this file it's going to prompt you with administrator's permission go ahead and allow it and as you can see it's asking me this software is already installed on your computer would you like to reinstall it i'm going to click yes even though i already have it just so you guys could see what it's going to look like for you guys when you click on it it's not going to ask you if you want to reinstall it because most likely you don't have it but let's just wait for that to come up this is what you're gonna get this little installer windows right here just go ahead and click next 
next and wait for Java 18 to install. Installing Java 18 is really fast and really easy and it is needed for any version of Minecraft above 1.16.5 to work successfully. Any modded version of Minecraft, I should say. Any modded version of Minecraft above 1.16.5, you need to install Java 18. Once you have finished installing it, go ahead and click on close and now we could get rid of the installer. And now this is the moment that we run the jar fix. Running the jar fix after you install Java 18, we'll make sure that all your files, all your jar files get Java 18 applied to them. So go ahead and run the jar fix by double clicking on it. Once you double click on the jar fix, it's going to prompt you with administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it. And once you allow it, this is what's going to come up, meaning that the jar fix has run successfully. Go ahead and click OK. Now you could get rid of the jar fix and now we could start installing Optifine. Now before we double click on Optifine to install it, we need to make sure that we run Minecraft 1.19 at least once, right? Because we're installing Optifine 1.19. We need to make sure that we run Minecraft 1.19 once. Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher, run Minecraft 1.19 once. And once you have finished running it, you can close out of it and you could come back here. Now let's go ahead and start installing Optifine. Double click on it. And that is going to bring this sign up in here. That says Optifine HD Ultra, blah, blah, blah. In here, the main thing, do not click extract, do not click cancel, just click install and wait for that to finish. It should be fast actually, as we can see, Optifine is successfully installed. Go ahead and click on okay. And now you could get rid of the Optifine installation, right? So we're back at one file. We're back with the X-ray file, which is okay. Now let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher real quick. And when the Minecraft launcher opens, as you can see, Optifine should be automatically selected. And here in the bottom left, as you can see, it says Optifine 1.19. In case that doesn't come up, just click on installations here on the top and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, when we select modded, all the modded versions come up. And if that doesn't work, just click on new installation, click on version, and then find Optifine 1.19. As you can see, it's my third option right here, but it might be on the bottom for you. So just scroll until you find Optifine 1.19. You can then name this whatever you want, and then just click create here on the bottom left, and that will give you a new version of Optifine in your computer. Anyways, the main thing in here is to find that Optifine version, click on installations, click on this little folder right here. As you can see, Optifine it has a little folder right there. Click on that folder. That is going to bring this big folder up with a lot of files, okay? Do not freak out. Just minimize this folder, minimize the launcher, and come here to your desktop, okay? Now that we have this folder, we're going to look for something called resource packs. In this folder, scroll down until you find resource packs. As you can see, I have it right here. Now, there is a chance you don't even have this resource pack folder. In case you don't have it, look, I'm gonna delete mine, okay? I deleted my resource pack folder. Let's say you didn't find that folder. Let's say you didn't have that folder. How do you add it? Just right click new and then resource packs, just like this resource packs. That's what we're going to type. As you can see, resource packs. Just make that folder in there, open that folder up and drop your zip file in. Once you drop your X-Ray Ultimate inside your resource pack folder, as you can see, now we have that zip file in there. We could close out from this folder and we could launch Optifine Minecraft. Go ahead and launch that up. Click that you understand the risk. Click play. Okay, so now we have Minecraft open. How do we add the X-Ray? You might ask. Go ahead and click on options. Go ahead and select resource packs here and then just click on this little arrow right here and that is going to activate the X-Ray in game. I'm going to show you that that does work. Go ahead and click on done after you add the X-Ray. Click on done and then go ahead and launch any of your worlds. I'm going to launch a single player world. And as we can see, once we load into the game are working, if you proceed, you can zoom in. And since we're using Optifine, everything is lit up. Everything is bright enough so we can see what we're looking at. And yeah, guys, that is pretty much how to add shaders. Just remember, once you're in game, click on escape options, resource packs, and then just select the x-ray, click on done. And that's going to load the resource pack up, the texture pack. And, and yeah, we're going to be able to use the x-ray in Minecraft. That is how to add x-ray. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, bye bye.